you don't have paints at home, using food colouring is a really good way to uh, get colour in some of your artwork. So if you just have a little experiment, the liquid ones tend to be really quite nice and strong. Okay, so putting some yellow down. Use them pretty much in the same way as you would inks or watercolours. Okay. And you can also use the gel food colouring as well. Again, use with a little bit of water. See what sort of effects you can get. Some green. Pinky red. Oops. Okay, and of course you can mix them just as you would. So point some yellow into that to get some lighter greens, and so on. Quite a nice way to create some interesting effects with your food colouring is to wet your page first. A nice coating of water over it. And then just dip your paintbrush into the food dye. Sort of splop it on. The food dye will run it with the water. Paint it on as well. Spot a little bit of water again with it. crystals will sort of suck up the colour and you'll get some quite interesting patterns etc. So what could you do with these backgrounds that you've created with your food colouring? Um, once they dry you can work back into them and I'll show you that in a little bit but you can also put a stencil over the top so decide what it is you want to put on top and I thought I would do a wolf so um, draw it out and remember you don't need too much detail in the inside because you are going to cut out this area and try and keep the surrounding bit. Uh, then use a knife, you might have um, a Stanley knife in the garage or a craft knife and obviously please be really careful put some cardboard underneath so that you don't scratch your worktops or your table. And then basically, uh, carefully get cutting uh, out the shape of your wolf, creature, flower, whatever it is. this out. If there's any little bits that you haven't, carefully recut those sections. Basically you're wanting to keep the stencil, the outside shape, as neatly as you can.
good. So we have the two parts to it. And then if you have a quick look at the food coloring piece of what you did, you can see where the salt crystals are. They've created these nice little bits of texture. And if you brush those off, and then you can put your stencil of your animal, creature, whatever it is, finding, you know, an interesting part. Um, and you can leave it just like that. Or you might decide you want to draw back into that to give a bit more detail. I know some of you were doing those sort of animals that um, have their environment in the shape of them. So it could be that you start sort of drawing in pencil or coloured pencils making this look like a sort of flower meadow. So you can add in more detail with your pen more of the actual wolf detail itself or more to do with the environment that the animal is in so this grassy meadow just adding a few more bits of detail another thing you can then try is just taking away the stencil so that you have the shape of the wolf in its own right again you can work back into the piece of work, extending some of your lines and drawings if you want to add more to the background. And I think using a dark pencil or the pen seems to work quite well. <laughs> 